describe it as Asian American street food. But the menu here is really in a class all by itself. This is sort of started as a joke. <laughs> This ramen noodle eatery is located in the heart of downtown Manchester on Elm Street. This is the second restaurant for co-owners Joel Susi and Nick Proventure. They also own Birch on Elm, directly across the street. We were sitting around the table having a drink and talking to each other and we're like, well, how funny would it be if we actually had a ramen spot named Nudes? Thank you. Head chef and co-owner Nick Proventure has designed a menu that is full of flavor. This is a scratch kitchen. The broth used for the rice bowls, homemade. Noodles all made in-house, fresh every day. Broths made fresh every night. Fresh, but very efficient. So everything is fresh, but it's also really fast to prepare. Yeah, so that was the idea behind the entire thing, was to make sure that we could keep the quality of our sister restaurant, the Birch on Elm, and at the same time be able to keep up with a lunch rush for the city. Freshly steamed bao buns are among the most popular items on the menu, filled with barbecue pulled brisket, topped with homemade slaw, or the Nashville chicken. Spicy, but not too hot. If you like spice, this is this is will be your go-to. Yeah. And this is um, these are homemade pickles. Yep, homemade dill pickles. Just uh, dice them up in a little house-made relish. Go on top, help cut through the heat a little bit. Really good. Worth the carbs, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely worth the carbs. We have hot sauces, all different kinds, with our house fermented chilies that we make our own srirachas and stuff. So you can add spice if you'd like. And if you don't want spice, we can knock it down a little bit for you also. It's not an easy job taking on the role of quality control. Somebody's got to do it. Chef Nick prepared some of the most popular items for us. We got the steak and cheese dumplings, so that's just um, brisket that we brine overnight, then slow braise over the next night, pull it, and it's mixed with local cheddar and then caramelized onions. It's not hard to spot nudes, just look for the bright neon sign, Manch Vegas style. I really wanted this like kind of like Vice City, like 60s, 70s Miami, like kind of look to it. I wanted that pop of color and that pink neon just, just called out to me. We really wanted to express ourselves uh, in the food that we enjoy from these places without copying them. It was more of a, I, I don't want to say fusion, but it's definitely inspired by some of these like ancient food cultures, but it's, it's definitely a brand and a restaurant that's built for the modern, more urban Manchester that's up and coming. A taste of Naples, Italy on the seacoast. Armando is bringing the flavors of his homeland to Portsmouth to one of Portsmouth's most iconic restaurant buildings. We import the tomatoes and we buy everything as Italian as it can be. Armando's is located in the space that for decades was the Rosa restaurant, known by this historic sign. It's a beautiful, beautiful sign on the building. It's there for years and years and years. I will see the sign before you even see the restaurant. <clears throat> it's attractive. It's a part of this building. I remember, again, I came the first time in 2004, right? 2003. I saw the sign, the first thing. Armando and his family own several restaurants in Florida. In 2004, they came to Portsmouth for a vacation and fell in love. We have the park down here. It's the bridge is just absolutely stunning. The dining room and bar area has a sophisticated feel. The menu is extensive. There's something for every palate here. It is extensive. Um, I like to give it choices. I, beside the menu, we have always specials. Armando says his pizza is different. It's all about the basic ingredients. Pizza is made different two things. Guess what? Water and flour. <clears throat> right? If you use a bad water, a bad flour, you have a bad pizza. We have uh, water filters downstairs, extremely expensive. Uh, and the flour is the best flour that you can have in Neapolitan pizza, so right there. Decadent desserts are traditional Italian, 
tiramisu, and cannolis. There we go. That's beautiful. The head chef also hails from Italy and put off his retirement in Florida to help open Armando's. He cooked up a popular dish, sautéed seafood with risotto. From here, we're going to make a, a nice sauce. How are you, Armando? Hi. Hi, Chase. Chase, how are you going to meet you? Hey, Chase, how are you going to meet you? Everything okay? Everything we do in this restaurant, from the moment we open, is for the guest. The drink menu has a European flair. Uh, there's a lot of straightforward cocktails. I like to call them uh, no-nonsense cocktails. And they're, they're pretty straightforward. They're classic. They're wonderful. For Armando, his love of his homeland and traditional Italian recipes, that's what he wants to share with his new customers in Portsmouth. When I'm in Portsmouth, from the moment I'm put my foot here, I felt comfortable. I felt peaceful. This is, to me, like a Boston here. It's the is the closest I feel at home. And that's the most important thing to me.